Hey, how's it going? It's me, Johnny here, and welcome back to my YouTube channel, to AF Labs. It's been a while since I uploaded the last video. The last video was about a month ago when I was in Spain. Right now, I'm here in Malaysia, Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia, and I've actually just finished recording a Q&A video for my AF Labs members. Actually, the video was done. That was done yesterday because, as you'll see, I'm a I was wearing a different shirt and I'm going to give you, I'm going to let you see and watch the recording of this live Q&A session that I did yesterday where I revealed some, uh, I'll let you know what I um, revealed, showed in a Q&A in just a moment. Um, but these Q&As are what we do every two days as part of AF Labs. If you're a paid member, every two days you get to jump on the live Q&A session, ask me questions to do with your TikTok, TikTok ads campaign because that's what we're currently teaching in AF Labs as part of the 30 day challenge and case study and the rapid profit TikTok ads course. Now we're actually about to start a new 30 day challenge and case study in, in less than a week. The dates will be announced uh, below or somewhere around here and you're going to get to watch me create a brand new TikTok ads campaign from scratch, watch me do it every single day, watch me build it, launch it and make money with it and then you get to copy what I do and hopefully make money for yourself while asking me questions on the Q&As that happen every two days. This is all part of AF Labs and next week, just before Black Friday, we will be offering a huge Black Friday discount. So I'll let you know more about that probably on the next video or there may be some information below here, okay? So on this Q&A video that you're about to see, um, I, I revealed one of the ads that one of my students is running who's making around $3,000 per day with this ad and spending around $800. Spending $800 to make $300 in a, so, spending $800 to make $3,000 every single day using TikTok ads and promoting an affiliate paid on action offer, which means he gets paid for leads. So someone fills out a form, he gets paid instantly because of the affiliate, um, the affiliate offer that we have uh, partnered with. Uh, with the companies that we partner with and we give you access to these offers inside AF Labs, okay? So I reveal this ad in the Q&A you're about to watch and also I then break down the actual script of how we created the ad because it's, it's all good showing you the ad but how about, you know, how do you create the ad? Well, I actually show you on this Q&A how we created the ad and also how to communicate with the person creating your ad more uh, specifically the UGC content creator, meaning user generated content. Now on TikTok ads, the ads that work best are something called user generated content, meaning it's a, a person with an iPhone or smartphone filming themselves um, in the ad, right? And you know, it, making it look like a native TikTok video and not an ad, right? That's where the money is. That's, that's how you make the that's how you make the big money okay and this is actually ten thousand dollars and that's the aim of the case study that we're going to be doing is to go from zero to 10k in 30 days the second part of what i reveal in this q a uh, as well as much more is one of our other students shared one of his ads which isn't working so well so i basically broke it down and went over the ad looked at it and gave him my thoughts on why why i think the ad's not working and what he can do to improve it and this is what we do every day on, uh, sorry, every two days on our live Q&A. You get to show us your, your campaigns. I get to tell you why it's not working or how you can improve it, right? Or how you can scale it. Um, and so you're going to get to see that in the Q&A that I'm about to show, right? Uh, but a quick life update before that. So yeah, a month ago I was in Spain and I, I mentioned that there's going to be two types of videos we released on this channel. First is going to be revolving around paid ads making money as an affiliate, currently TikTok ads. Second is gonna be my weekly vlog where I, rev where I share you know, what I'm doing in my life. You get to follow me as I run my affiliate business and as I build AF Labs, which is my membership slash um, course business, right? Uh, while traveling the world um, and sharing, sharing that with you. So we're gonna be more consistent with the uploads uh, from this week. You'll expect about two, up two uploads per week, okay? Super excited about that. 
So I'll make this short um, because the Q&A is going to come after this. It's about an hour long, so hopefully you enjoy it. Um, and uh, if you have any questions, comment below. Um, if you, yeah, so enjoy the Q&A and I'll see you soon. All right, so welcome to the Q&A today. It's a new time here in where I am. I'm in Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia at the moment. As you can see, I'm in a different location. So let's go through some of the questions, right? You have time to ask me whatever you want. This is like your, you literally, you, you can ask me whatever you want to do the campaign, to do with um, TikTok ads. Okay, so Eugene, I'm trying to make these get your ex back offers from ClickBank work on TikTok. So this is a relationship niche offer, okay? Get your ex back offer from ClickBank work TikTok. And even though my creatives and landing pages do not say straight, this is dating, my account still get banned almost right away. Okay, so first of all, have you gone through the compliance checklist, which is on day seven? If not, I'm going to give you the link to that video right now. Okay, let me, let me link that to you right now. Uh, on the, on uh, day seven of, of the pre-challenge, because we're starting the challenge again, uh, we're going to go back, right? I mean, the actual, if you go to, uh, let me share my screen, right? And, I'll, and, and then I'll link it. Um, okay. If you go to here, right? You go to classroom. Can you guys see the screen? <laughs> Hope you can. Okay, classroom, rapid private TikTok ads, and day seven, right? You see that? TikTok ad compliance. So on this video, I go through how to stay compliant on TikTok. And there's like, there's a checklist. Just go through that. And trust me, you'll know how to stay compliant, okay? Um, in short, you have the checklist is broken down into three different uh, uh, components or of, of, of three different factors. The first is the ad itself. You can't promote something that's not allowed on TikTok. Second, you can't make bold claims, right? And that's kind of on most platforms, you can't really make bold claims. The second part is the landing page checklist. The landing page, meaning the first page that someone goes to when they click on your ad, needs to follow a specific checklist of, of staying compliant. Okay? And I go through that in day seven, so please watch that. It has to be your, your, the page that someone goes to the first page is the same page that the review bot or the review uh, rep will go and check when they review your ad, okay? So that's the first page. The, pa the second page, so if you're, if you're using a landing page where they have to click the call to action to go to the offer, about 99% of the time, the review process, the bot or the actual or the rep will not check the second page. So the second page can kind of say like almost anything, almost. Like this is what I've found out. The first page, which is the lander, the, meaning the pa page that someone goes to when they click the ad, has to be compliant. So you've got to have things like the footer links on the page, like it's got to have contact information. Um, it has to follow a certain set of um, uh, rules, basically. Okay, you need to, it's called the landing page rules, and we go through this on day um, seven here. But you know what? Like, uh, what I might do is I might as well just kind of open this checklist here uh, on my on my and, and share it with you. Maybe that will be better. I'll just quickly share it and go through it because because uh, we have some time here because there's only a few of us here. Might as well go through that. Let's see here. I'm just 
trying to find the folder now. Give me one sec. <laughs> I think this is it. Okay, cool. Let's see here. Um, I'm just going to open up this check this checklist here so we can go through. Okay, I've got it here. Um, give me one sec, let me put it on the screen. Okay, cool. Hope you guys can see that. All right, this was on day seven, right? So basically, when it comes to compliance, there's a couple of, uh, you can go through this on day seven, okay? However, let's just go through, right? So first of all, there's three parts, okay? First of all, you've got to understand the off, understand offers that are not allowed. You've got to understand your landing page rules and then the ad review process. These three things are key to getting approved, okay? So first of all, let's go through offers that are not allowed, okay? Adult products, I think what I'll do is I will basically link this document to you guys as well. Adult products, casinos or gambling, cigarettes or tobacco, NFTs. However, education is allowed. So like courses or like off an offer that is maybe selling info or giving information or content on NFTs or crypto. That's, that's okay. Police slash military gear. Um, let's see. Politics, legal services, CBD, anything to do with CBD, alcohol, products targeting children. Most of these offers that are not allowed, most, you know, you're probably not going to be promoting any of them, anyway, right? Um, however, they may class dating as like adult products or services, maybe. Okay. Now, the offers that are allowed, um, some of them are restricted with conditions, but these are kind of the offers that, that are sort of grey hat, which you could. So dating apps, supplements, energy drinks, fantasy sports, legal advice uh, is not allowed, but edu legal education is allowed. Simulated gambling apps, financial services. Um, so these are like allowed with restrictions. But again, you don't need to worry about this really with like lead gen in the finance niche or like weight loss. It hasn't said anything about weight loss here. So that's why we can, we can promote it. But, you know, in your case, it's more about understanding the ad review process. Okay. So you need to understand that. So you're going back to your question. You're saying, I'm trying every time I launch um, an ad, for I get my ex back. First of all, there's another thing you could be doing wrong. You could be using, you know, are you using a, your own landing page or are you direct linking? If you're direct linking, you can't use the like, you can't use the ClickBank hop link. You have to, you have to send them to the actual final URL. Um, so I'll have to show you how to do that as well. Um, and what I mean by the final URL is you're not allowed to use a redirect link that, that starts on one domain and redirects to another domain, right? So like on ClickBank, the hop link is what your affiliate link is. It's like hop.blahblahblah.clickbank.net. And then that redirects to getyourxback.com, for example. That's not allowed on most ad platforms, okay? It needs to kind of, it needs to go directly to the, to the, yeah. Everything has to stay on one URL, basically, from the moment they click on the ad to the landing page. The way you do this is, and I'll show you in a moment, there's a way to do it. But you need to understand the ad review process. 
So first of all, humans and bots review. They also review the visual and the audio. So anything you say or show needs to be compliant, right? So there's two things they review. The first is the, the ad and then the destination URL. The ad has to obviously be compliant. The destination URL has to follow the landing page rules, okay? So landing page rules, are you following these rules? You need to include the following. So first of all, let me ask you a question. Where are you sending people to on your ad? I'm trying to dissect what's getting your account banned. Because the only time, the only reason anyone will get an account banned is you've done something against the rules, right? So knowing the rules, which I've obviously have here, which I've obviously, which I've done in-depth research on, like when I was running campaigns at the start, when I got stuff wrong, I had to figure this out myself. Um, let's see where you're sending people to. All right, cool. Why, why don't you show us your landing page and I can see if, and we can check if it's following these rules. So landing page needs to have contact info, privacy policy, terms of use, right? Basically footer links that link to all of these different things. If you don't have contact information, that's against the rules, right? So like, I have uh, an example um, here. I just think so that's load. Okay. So look, this example here, I've got all of the things right, okay? This is hosted in my domain. But the first stuff is, look, I've got privacy policy, contact information, terms of service, right? Now, these all open another page on my same domain. So I click it, it opens up, right? Same domain, improvingmyselfdaily.com forward slash privacy. Now, you can get these templates online, okay? Look, privacy policy. It's just a template I, I, I copied and then I just changed it to... You know, um, I just like made sure that it had my brand name or my domain name instead of the one I copied it from. Okay. So then we have contact info again, hosted on my page. Okay. It's just, okay, cool. Look, it's got email at domain.com. We've obviously got terms of service. Okay. All of these things are little things that you need to include. Right. <laughs> This is, I even have, have this disclaimer for Google because this, I'm, all, I'm also running this on the YouTube ads as well. Um, but it works on TikTok because it has everything that's compliant. Okay. Now let's see what else. Uh, yeah. So let's have a look at your line. Uh, let's just quick have a look at the, oh, do you know what? I just realized I, ah, uh, oh, damn it. Sorry. <laughs> Couldn't see my screen. I'm showing it. I'm looking on the other. Uh, let me just quickly show you. So, guys, freaking, because I've got two screens here. Uh, I, I'll do it. Okay, I'll go to your thing in a minute. Your one in a minute. So, look, this is the landing page. As I was saying, look, I've the first part is look, um, contact info, privacy. Basically, these are the known as the footer links. Okay, I have them all here. Right, privacy. Open it. It goes to my own domain. Okay. So this is hosted on improvingmyselfdaily.com. Privacy, contact is all hosted on the same domain, right? You can get these templates anywhere. Like, okay, terms of service, again, got it all here, okay? You can find these Google terms of, terms of service template, privacy policy. Okay, whatever I have here, you've got to have it, okay? Next, it needs to be congruent with the ad. You, it can't be like completely different messaging. If it's an opt-in page where you're collecting leads, I know Billy, we, me and Billy were talking about running traffic to an opt-in page to collect leads. 
Well, you can. However, you can't have a page which is simply a page that asks you to opt in to find the information, right? Like, um, I'll show you an example. I'll show you an example of an opt-in page that will, that will not be allowed. So that would be a page like... Uh, Uh, I'm trying to I'm trying to show you a page which uh, would not be allowed. All right, let me show you this page here. So you see this this opt-in page here, right? This goes against TikTok ads rules. Okay, first of all, there's two parts here. We're talking about an opt-in page. First of all, this is not even, this doesn't even have footer links, right? The footer links it doesn't have, okay, immediately will get banned. Secondly, the opt-in page rules. When they click on here, it asks them to opt-in. You can't have a page, it's, this is known as gated content, okay? You can have an opt-in page, but you have to have slightly more content on the page. So this is like <clears throat> a headline and, an, and a button that, includes an opt-in pop-up, right? This won't be allowed on TikTok. However, you can have a page that asks for an opt-in. However, you need to have some more content. So you, it will have a headline, an opt-in button, some more text below, maybe some bullets, and then another opt-in button, and then at the bottom, the footer links. That would be allowed, okay? So before I look at your page, let's just look at the, the rest of the rules, okay? You can't use any click TikTok logos or related elements, okay? You need to make sure your page is working, no broken links. The page needs to be fully functional, okay? So let's have a look at your page. Now you've given it to us. Let's see if it complies. Okay, my landing page is a copy of this page. Yeah, but... I, can you show me your actual page? Because like, I need to see the, the final page in order to be able to help you. Okay. Um, you're saying, in my case, all footer links go to pages on another domain. Um, possibly. Now, when you say it's a copy of this page, by the way, this offer, my friend owns this offer, by the way. Okay. So like, if you want to run it, we can actually, I can actually help you get your pixels installed on it properly if you can't do it this is a really i like this page it's uh by the way as we know as most of you may know running clickbank offers the key to success is sending them to a quiz lander like this right a quiz lander will always do well because in the ad you sell the quiz you sell the solution to the problem which will be found by, by answering the short quiz, right? That's, that's why ClickBank offers VSL. This is, this is known as a video sales letter. We don't sell the product in the ad. We sell the click and we sell what comes after the click, which is the quiz or the landing page. Or, right? And then the quiz sells the video sales letter where the results of the quiz are in the video sales letter, which is designed as the results, which is designed as content that then leads to a sale. So yours is a, is a clone of this. Um, so here, here's the thing, right? You, you can just, why don't you just send them directly to this page? Because it's on their domain. Like you could, you could just send them to this page. They've got everything there. Like, you're allowed to direct link. However, you need to make sure you're direct linking to the final URL, which has your affiliate ID at the end, like hot equals blah, blah, blah. You just copy this, right? That can be the actual um, link that you promote. And it works because I've tested it. This is a sick quiz. Like, oh, it's so cool. This is pretty much compliant, right? 
I would say it's compliant. Um, let's go back to what you're saying in the questions. Um, okay, cool. Now you now you're getting, now you're showing us your page. Fantastic. Okay. All right. Let's see here. Get him back. Dot online. All right. Cool. By the way, how did you make this page? Because it's it's pretty similar. Did, how did you clone it? What uh, what software are you using? Are you using Lander Bolt to clone? Okay, you've done a great job. You saved the HTML and made some adjustments. You know you can use Lander Bolt to clone pages, right? Uh, LanderBolt.com. You can clone like any page on the internet with one click. It's, it's really sick. Um, it makes things way easier. And, it, and you can like link, host your domain on, on with them too, super fast. Um, okay, cool. Calculating results. Let's have a look. And then it goes to. Oh, okay. You're using. Are you are you using a tracker? Because yeah, it's 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 not going. Obviously, I the call to action. Yeah, yeah, cool. I would have had to gone through the entry point link in order for that to work, right? Okay, cool. Um, so you must be pretty advanced if you if you understand tracking then. So look, let's look at the footer links. Sketchmate.art. Okay, why well, is this your domain? So, soulmate. Oh, uh, oh, so you're promoting soulmate sketch too. Okay, cool. Yeah, dude, just like you can you can easily put this on your domain, can't you? Just just save that page to your own, right? So, so, now, in terms of compliance, like, okay, you've got a foot of links. Um, it, it should stay compliant. Like, watch day seven again, and just, just to check. But, it, you know, as far as I know, it's not, you know, let's see what the, uh, now the, the second part of the process is, it could be your ad that is not compliant, okay? Would you be able to show us your ad? Um, yeah, if you can show your ad, that would be fantastic. Maybe you you have the um, if 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 you upload it to Google Drive or something and send me the link, or um, if you want to share your screen, maybe. So I'm trying to. Okay, you sent it. Oh, you sent it in the chat. Okay, cool. Let's open it. See, this is the kind of help. This is the kind of help we do on these Q and A's. I literally like we're dissecting. The troubleshooting, this is like the troubleshooting process. You know, if there's, any, ever, if there's ever anything that's not working, you always want to troubleshoot by like reverse engineering, then checking against the facts that are, you know, because it's, th there's always a way to do something, right? So you have to kind of figure it out what part of the process. And this is how I solve these problems with you guys. Uh, let's wait for it to upload. Um, you see, it seems like it's loading. Um, in the meantime, I just have a quick skim of the other questions. Okay. Rome, uh, how do I pronounce your name? But Rome, Romuald. Romuald. Romald? Sorry, man, if I pronounced it wrong. Um, have you tried to use instant page? Do they perform better than hosting your own landing page? Any idea of the review process? They take longer to get approved. So I assume it is a manual review. Okay. I actually haven't tried instant page. It's, it's funny. I've made like long, a lot of money on TikTok ads, but I haven't tried instant page. I've just done it the way that I'm sharing with you. Um, it could be something to look at that I'm, that I'm going to test and we'll test within AF Labs and let you know the results. I haven't tried instant page though. Uh, I'd say stay compliant and try it. Wrong. Okay. All right. The ad seems to have been. Uh, okay, cool. Let's play the ad. Wow. Okay, cool. 
So, so guys, watch this. We have the ad that uh, Eugene is running. So let's just quickly recap. We, we, we're trying to see why his ad got rejected, why his, ad, his account got closed. We've, went, we've gone through the landing page checklist. It seems compliant. It has the footer links. It's not really making claims. Let's just put, uh, Yeah, so it seems compliant. Let's now have a look at the ad to see what uh, it says. Hey, ladies. Come with me and I'll teach you his secret obsession. First of all, I think it's awesome. It's like really good lighting in this ad as well. Uh, the volume is very low. You, you, do you guys realize also, these are like the... Um, I guess I call them conversion boosters, which we always need to have on the ads. When you play the, the ad, put your volume to 50% and see what it sounds like. If the audio is not that good at 50%, right? So if my, if so you see, I've got my volume here. If I put it on halfway and then I play this and it doesn't sound loud enough, then that means I need to boost it. Because sometimes not everyone has it all the way up, right? These are little things that like make a massive difference. You know? So like, let's play it. Hey, ladies, come with me. And I'll yeah, so like, playing it now at fifty percent audio is I can't even hear it, right? So first thing you've got to boost it by about three hundred percent. So, but let's just because like, I have to put it all the way to the top now to hear. But what we're doing now. We're tr trying to see the messaging anyway. This is just kind of a bonus tip, I'll leave there. Hey, ladies. Shh. Come with me and I'll teach you his secret obsession. Get you back in his arms forever. And uh, quit looking at the other ones. Yeah, to be honest, this is not really a good ad. Like, the, the copy in here, it doesn't really, like, I don't really understand what he's ta talking about. Um, so firstly, we need to help you create a better script for this ad. Okay. The guy in the ad is good. He's a good looking guy. So I think it will appeal to females. You need to get the, the actual copy and the angle and the messaging right in this ad. Okay. But what we, we're not talking about that here, are we? We're talking about why it didn't get approved. In, let's watch it again. Hey ladies, come with me and I'll teach you his secret obsession. So what you always need to remember is what's the, what's the, what is the benefit? What, what is the solution? What's the problem that this product solves? And you need to talk about the, the solution, right? Uh, the, that this in the ad. Okay. So it's how to get this guy, how to get a guy obsessed, right? The problem that that solving is, you know, I can never get a guy to pay attention to me. Why doesn't he text me back? This is, this will get him obsessed. So like we need to work on the messaging side of things, first of all, but why did this not get approved? I don't know. Is he making a claim here? Get you back in his arms forever. And yeah, maybe that, maybe the claim is just too bold. Get you back in his arms forever. Duh. Quit looking at the other ones. <laughs> okay. Let's just troubleshoot a bit more. In this account, like, was this the first ad that you launched? Like, how many ads did you run before this? Did any get approved before this? Are you there, Eugene? Okay. So five to seven ads got approved. And did you run traffic to them? What was the seat? What was the click through rates like? Very interesting, man. One to 2%, which is not bad. Obviously we need to, if you, have you watched Superclass part two, by the way, the new one I uploaded? Um, yeah, we talk about like the ideal situation. So you spent about 150 to 200. Did you make any sales? Really interesting. 
Oh, so Legion. Oh, okay, not not for this offer. So I'm talking about this offer specifically. Ah, okay, cool. So that's what I'm trying to figure out. So is this the first ad that you ran for this one? Um, and also, was it on the same account as the lead gen one? But was this the same account? Yeah, so that's, that could be an issue. You, you need to keep it congruent. You need to keep one account for one vertical. When I mean when I say vertical, I mean one type of offer. So this could could be the issue because you're running multiple. Because think of, in TikTok's eyes, it's like I created a new account later on and uploaded this ad. It was banned right away. Uh, where, was this uh, your own account? Was it an agency account? Mm, my own. Okay, cool. And uh, it's a US account, right? Or is it Spain? Okay, cool. How did you target US if you're in if you're in Spain? Because usually you can't. Okay, cool. It could be a it could be a number of factors like. Did you use a fake fake US address, all of that kind of stuff to, to register? Maybe they looked into that um, on the ad level. Right. Um, yeah, so a quick one. When you when you when you have a new ad account. Right, always do like two to five warm up ads, meaning clean ads that go to like a content article. So, as an example, what I would normally do, what I would normally do is on a uh, let's look with one of my one-on-one -on -one students um, who we just launched a new campaign. He, um, what we've done, the whole idea is, look, in your ad account, you want to see if you get approved before you run the real ad, okay? Because this is known as your ad approval ratio, okay? You got 100% disapproval ratio when you, <laughs> by getting one, you know, your first ad. The, when you get your first ad rejected, it's almost a guarantee that your account will get closed. Right. And I'm spending long on this question because it's important. Always do some warm up ads that are very, very compliant. So minimum two and send them to an article. Um, so like, for example, on my uh, site here, improving myself daily.com. Oops, I opened it on the wrong one again. Okay, look, I've actually got a, it's like a blog. I've got a homepage with articles, right? So I'm run, I'm, the, I'm actually warming up this site for the, for the next case study because I'm going to be running some weight loss or like manifestation or relationship style offers on this domain because it's a, it's a self help sort of domain what i'm what i am going to do and what you should do is like send people to an article that's on your domain just like this one here 14 tips to lose weight naturally okay uh this one here how uh how to lose weight let's just go to the tips one a tips article is always the safest option Okay, so I'm going to run two clean ads that where the call to action is check out my blog where I just wrote these this article that shows 40 tips to lose weight. Now, the idea here is not to make sales. The idea here is just to get approved. Right. So TikTok starts to trust you. However, at the bottom, I did put a little affiliate link here in, in the 
bottom area just in case you know you never know sometimes you'll get a couple one or two people clicking and, and turning into a sale once i get two ads approved then i'll try my real ad um and i'll then also send mm, i'll try i'll try the real ad okay and then i'll make sure like you got to just make sure it's compliant I would say use an agency account to begin with, um, like Ecom D Media, right? Ecom D Media um, would probably be the safest option uh, because they also can tell you they they kind of pro they provide provide you with uh, not a TikTok rep but uh, an agency account rep that can tell you if your ad is compliant as well which you'll be able to speak to them on Skype. So in terms of next steps for you, Eugene, I would say open up a... Okay, you can try your another account on your own, okay? Maybe they're linking it to your other account. Um, try opening a new account and just do, do some warm-up ads, two clean ads to a blog. So you've already got the domain. Just create a page and put an article that you... I got these written uniquely because i'm actually like taking this seriously and I, i'm not saying you're not taking seriously i'm taking this seriously in terms of like i'm building this site out with like real articles because you know unique's always better and i'm, I'm just i've got someone from fiverr to write these um i'm just going to keep writing new content every week getting like three articles i, I haven't done one since i first launched this site because i haven't focused on it uh, yet but when I do, I will um, start running some warm-up ads, okay? Eugene, so basically, um, create an article on your domain and run two clean ads to that, to that right? And then, um, I mean, it could, you could swipe ads and, and you could find some swiped ads on PP ads. You could just swipe them and run them like a super clean ad. Um, or you could create your own that are clean. You know, are, are compliant. So I would say do that as the next steps. Three accounts. This, uh, yeah, like so. You got one ad account. So so you got this. You got one ad account banned, and then what? Did you run the same ad on another account? Is that what happened? So, so, or did, yeah, like you shouldn't launch the ad that got banned on one account. You shouldn't, you shouldn't relaunch it. So that's what's happening here. You're launching the same ad that got banned. You need to, you can't do that because it's just going to result in the same thing happening. Okay. Yeah, so just do do the do this process next, like I've just mentioned. Send people to an article on your domain. If you want to copy it from somewhere, you can maybe modify it slightly. Um, use a an ad that is very clean. Get two ads approved, and then sneak in your third ad to be the actual ad. It's kind of a little bit under the radar. When you've got ads approved, they're more likely to approve more. But make sure that the ad and you know doesn't um, make as many claims as that one did. Okay, if you need more help with ads in Superclass Part Two, Lesson Two, I'll be going over the ad creative formula, how to create high converting ads, how to write copy, how to create the scripts, how to structure the actual angles and copy, right? So we'll, that, that's released in about two days from now. So let's uh, answer another one. We've got Billy. Okay. One thing I learned doing Facebook ads was I was always, was to always say I versus you in the ad. Right, exactly. I did X. Ah, uh, yeah, exactly. This is actually true. So even in my TikTok ads or my other students' TikTok ads, we we talk about I like this is what happened this is what the result that I got right and and then 
this is how I did it, right? This is how I did it. I did blah, 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 blah. I'm going to link, put the link below. And there's this quiz that you can fill out. This is the quiz that I did. You, um, this quiz will show you, or you can say, this, is the qu this quiz showed me blah, 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 blah. And then the video at the end revealed, and I was able to use, use this to save hundreds on my car insurance, you know, blah, blah, blah. So something like that, right? The ads to me sound like an ad. Yeah, exactly. So Billy's referring to the ad that Eugene showed. It sounds like an ad. It's, a, it's not really, even, even if it got approved, I guarantee that ad wouldn't get conversions, okay? You need to invest in a good copywriter or learn how to create it using my ad creative formula, which will be released in about two days from now in the super class, okay? Could you give an example maybe and then tell people to get more tips on the next page? Yeah. When you say that, Billy, what do you mean? Could you, are you asking me to give an example or are you telling them, are you saying in the ad, give an example and then tell people to get more tips? Uh, yeah, exactly. So you get it because you're, you know, you're a bit, you've got experience. So like, this is what we do with the car insurance ads. I mean, with, with sorry, with, with the ads that we create for TikTok. We show them an example of the actual offer. Like in the ad, I'll just, let me just show you a, a quick example. Um, I'm going to show you an ad that me, well, I created for one of my clients, one, uh, one of my one-on-one -on -one, uh, managed partner students where I create the ads for them. Um, Okay, let me show you this ad here. I hope he doesn't mind me sharing this because we we just uh, we just launched it. We, we, we recreated an ad that he he ran last month, right? So last month, this ad that he ran is already making money, right? We just re-edited and added some subtitles to it to make it more punchier. Um, so I'll quickly show you this ad. And um, what I want to show you is how we made the claim and how we did what Billy actually just said. We gave an example. Let's just watch this. I hope, I hope Brett doesn't mind. Um, so I'm going to show it as an example. Okay. This is an example of, of not only an ad with good copy, an ad that is already making money. However, an ad that is compliant gets approved by doing things the way that um, I'm trying to like uh, teach you. So let's just watch this. This is an example of a money-making ad that's making profits every day. Did you know that car insurance companies have been overcharged? And also it's, you can see it's loud because we always remember this key rule. Put your volume at halfway and test the audio. From you for decades until now. According to this article. Uh, halfway, it's okay. It's like not too bad. I had to boost the audio on this. Um, so let's watch this one more time. We literally just launched this ad this morning. So I'm excited to see the results of this new version. Because the one that didn't have subtitles is already making money. So now we've put subtitles on it. It's probably going to make even do even more profits. Oh, the car Oops, I just quit playing. Did you know that car insurance companies have been overcharging you for decades until now? According to this article I just read, the Spurious X Insurance Insider spills the beans on this underground trick that only the sales reps know about, where you can claim back $700 just for owning a car. This is insane, right? I put the link to the special website below. All you need to do is tap the link below, answer some basic questions. It takes less than 30 seconds. It's super. 
So do you see that part? That's giving the example of the offer. And she's like, look. Dollars just for on we In here, we did say you, and it actually got approved. I mean, like her. This, this isn't. Oh, we say you could. I think we didn't say you can. Let's see here. Oh, we, let's see. Oh, we actually said you can. It's not about. Or you can claim back. So this kind of goes, this got approved. Because we went through the warm-up process where we launched some clean ads at the beginning. $700 just for owning a car. This is insane, right? I put the link to the special website below. So yeah, all of your call to action, which is like this section, should always be something similar to... I've put the web to link to this website below. This is, the, this is what I use to get the result I got. All you need to do is tap the link below, answer some basic questions. It takes less than 30 seconds. It's super easy. All you have to do is tap the link below, and in 30 seconds, you'll see if you're owed $700. Do it now. Right. This was created by me and my team. We obviously, uh, we, know what to, we know how to make high converting ads. And um, as you can see, like the call to action, it gives an example of what to do, right? So that's that. Let's answer Lee's question. I think some of us guys would like to use your ad service going forward once we are up to speed and can invest more to it. Yeah, for sure. I'm, no, definitely. I'm cu currently, I only work with one, one client per month uh, because we, you know, we want to put in a lot of effort Soon, when we grow our team, we will be, you know, taking on more students to get our ad, your ads made, uh, which I'm looking forward to doing as a service. So, because I do, what I ideally want to do is, you know, give you the best chance of success, right? By creating your ads for you. Me and my team, like I, I come up with the ads and the copy myself as well as my team, mostly me, because that's my skill. And then I have my, um, creators, pool of creators, and then I have my video editors. We all put it together and we do a great job for you. But in Superclass Part 2, Lesson 2, and by the way, Part 2 is already up. I'm not sure if you guys, who, who, who's, who's watched Part 2, Lesson 1? Um, I went through the three keys to pay that to, to TikTok ad success. Um, this one here, that's Superclass. Um, part two a so in this video uh, i talk about the three keys and one of the keys is a high converting ad right now that's key number two we go into super detail it's probably going to be a two-hour session uh, we go into two super detail in part two b which you can see here which is it says coming soon TikTok high converting. Oh, sorry. Yeah. Part two C. I'm I'm releasing two uh, B and C at the same time. So don't worry. TikTok ad creative formula. It's in this video. I think this video here. A lot of you guys have been waiting for this because this is the thing that is going to push the needle forward for your campaigns. I know, like Lee, you you're eager to go right creating your ads. This superclass part two C. Right. Remember, originally the superclass was just three parts. Then I had to like break it up into part two, A, B, C, and then part three. There's probably going to be part three, A, B as, as at least because each video is like got so much to cover. Right. And I want to make sure I'm giving you the, I, I don't want to miss anything out. Right. Because it's, this is like, what's the point of me doing it and not giving you the full information? So that's how I, it's kind of taken slight, like a little bit long to create them because I'm going through so much detail. But trust me, when you go through this, the TikTok ad creative formula, you know, like for example, um, uh, one of my students from a couple of months ago who I still work with, if you're one of my one-on-ones, right, or my managed partner students, like I still work with you, you know, even a few months after, I still give help to my students. But I still give, I give help to anyone who asks, basically. If you have scripts and you need help, I'll always help you, right? Um, it's just that on my, obviously, the one-on-ones, I, I do do it for them as well. But I just want to quickly show you, like, look, in terms of the, um, the ad, 
creation formula. Um, one of my students here, where are we? Okay, uh, oh, here. I'm, I was in the process uh, today. I was actually in this cool um, like coffee shop here in Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia. I allocated a couple of hours to, to helping write their scripts. And, um, you know, look, I have a formula. So this is, he's, they're promoting an offer called um, Moon Reading. It's a ClickBank offer. And I'm in the process of working on their, on their script. So it's like, hey, yeah, we won't go into too much <clears throat> detail, but we always um, start with one main body, right? And then we go through the problem, the solution, and then the call to action, uh, which is, so you know, I'm not going to obviously go through this in full detail here because we go through that in part 2C of the superclass, but a quick bonus, I always start with the call to action in my ad, okay? So whenever I create an ad, I always start with the end in mind. So, uh, John, you've joined, but we've, we've been on for an hour. So I think the timing might have... No, it said it right. It, one, it was 1 p.m. in UK. John, if, you, if you've missed it, don't worry. I'll, I'll upload the recording like as soon as this is over. Um, a quick bonus tip when writing your script, okay? Always start with the CTA, the call to action. And I've put here, what's the, what's the objective of the call to action? It's to sell the quiz, which reveals the solution to the problem. This, is a, this ClickBank offer is also a VSL offer. However, the offer is a quiz offer, right? So it's uh, moonreading.com. Why have they got an ad? So this is, so this offer here, remember, Start with what's the objective for the call to action? For the car insurance ad, the objective is to get them to fill out, the, the go through the quiz, right? This one, the actual offer itself, like I don't even need to create a landing page. It goes directly to the quiz. So my, uh, the, the objective of the call to action is to sell the quiz. The quiz then leads them to the VSL. That's why this offer works, okay? So like, look, uh, I think it was John who was asking this. You know, look, when I'm writing the scripts which we give to the creator, hey, John, I always put in red in the section of the script the action I want the creator to perform. So... This is me still right. Well, when I give it, I won't put this part here, right? Um, or this part. This is me creating the ad. But like, it's, it, it's literally as simple as you opening a doc, okay, a Google doc or whatever. In the sections of the script that you want the person to do something, because you this is known as directing the person, okay? Um. A couple more people are joining, I think, because we got the time zones wrong. But it's all good. I simply write in red look, uh, the action I want the person to perform in terms of directing her and what to do. So I'm like, hey, show quiz on phone while saying the following. And then this is the call to action, okay? So with scripts, I'm not sure if John came when I was talking about it. I always start with writing out the call to action. And I always ask myself, what is the objective of the call to action? Well, here is to sell the quiz. I can give you another example here of how I directed a creator by looking at one of my other students. Uh, I'm, I'm trying to find it. One of my other students' um, scripts, and this is the script that we sent to the creator. Okay, and I, I hope <clears throat> Brett doesn't mind. 
Let's see here. Okay. So this hopefully is some golden information for you of how to direct a, um, an, a creator. Okay, so look. Remember the ad that I showed you guys just now? Let's just close this. The one I showed you guys who were on. This is how we wrote the script and, and this is how we directed it to her. And if you're ordering from Fiverr, you, you can't copy and paste this into Fiverr because Fiverr doesn't format the text colors. So you have to send them the link to this document, like to your own document. So here, look, I've got the script. Script one, did you know car insurance companies have been overcharging you for decades? And then in red, show article headline on laptop or computer. Don't show your face in this scene, only the article. So the next part, when she says, according to this article I just read, she's showing this link, which I've given her to show on her phone. Okay. This is the article that we showed in the ad. <clears throat> Remember just now we, um, where is it? When I showed the ad, where is it? Um, So look, this is the hook. And then I'm like giving her instructions to open up this website here. And when she opens that, she goes through this section. But notice this, I then say show face because that means basically this section is the part that she reads while showing her phone. And I'll give you the example while I talk about it. So here we are. Did you know that car insurance companies have been overcharging you for decades? So that's this part here, right? Did you know car insurance for decades? Okay. Now I've directed her to show her phone and open up this article and then read the next section all the way until show face. And then look, this is this part. Until now, according to this article, I just... So look, she opened up that link, which I provided her, which is here. We created this ourselves, by the way. This is slightly gray hat because we created an article for her to show, which, <clears throat> which has the hook inside it. This is an underground way. This is, this is how you can actually make a claim in an ad without actually saying it because you're re referencing an article or something that you found. I found this and I'm just sharing it with you. Okay. Instead of just saying like a direct claim to the camera, this is like how the pros and that's what you guys hopefully become pros at this stuff because it's, a, you know, once you learn how to do this, this like this, it's like you can just you can create money out of thin air. Um, just read this furious ex insurance insider spills the beans on this underground trick that only the sales reps know about where you can claim back $700 just for owning a car. This is insane, right? So look, this is insane, right? See that this is insane, right? That's the last part before it goes back to me saying, show your face. I put the link to the special website below. Okay. I've put the link to this special website below. Now, again, go back to your phone. Show your phone going through the insurance quiz sign-up process while talking. Film with separate camera. Use this URL for demonstration, please. And then we actually, uh, okay, we, we, I didn't put it in this one. Oh, no, I, I, I put it here. So I also gave her an example of how to do this. So first of all, let's just watch this next section. Look, so. Hello, all you need to do is two questions. It takes less than 30 seconds. It's too. Okay. So that segment there, I had to direct her. show your phone going through the car insurance quiz. Here's an example of how to do it. 
I showed her an example, which I uploaded to another Google Drive right here. I showed her this ad. <laughs> and this is the example. I showed her the call to action of someone else doing Yeah. And you won't believe what I discovered. Thanks, best money. I have saved hundreds of dollars on my car insurance. This was my. Right. So I now, this is the example I'm giving her. So I'm like, here is an example of how to do this. Boom. There's the example. Okay. Now, when you're going through this section here, Open up this link here, which is the offer link, right? So you open the offer link. Right. And then she obviously opened that and she went through it, right? Sim as simple as that. You basically have to think of it as you're directing a baby to like, you know, you've got to like make it, you've got to break it down so it's so clear, okay, for, for the person to understand. This is if you're ordering from somewhere like Fiverr, if you can't talk to them face to face, okay? I obviously have like my video editor and team and stuff that I can talk to in person or over Zoom where I can, it's a bit easier that way. But if you're writing it in a document, you see this skill here of instructing someone to do something like this. This is a big money making skill. And then at the end, again, show face for ending. The ending. What you need to do is tap the link below, answer some basic questions. It takes less than 30 seconds. It's super easy. All you have to do is tap the link below, and in 30 seconds, you'll see if you're owed $700. Do it now. Yeah. So, look, that's the ending. Okay. And then we've done the same thing. And then, and here's another one. Okay. Most of the time, the call to action, remember what I've said here, the call to action is the first thing I write. And I generally use the same call to action, even if I'm testing five angles. So basically, when I'm talking to the creator, I'm like here. I, I start with the hook, the intro, and then in red, I say the same ending as the previous video can be used just add the same ending as you made in the previous video. So that makes it easier for her as well. She just now, all she needs to do is the opening and the main body, right? And then I basically give her the same instructions as I did in this call to action, just in case she needed to see it again. Uh, most of the time you can just say, use the same ending as you did in the previous ad. Then you can, she can create all five where she creates the call to action once and then she creates the intro hook and main angle segment separately and then she edits in the call to action at the end, okay? Um, and the reason the call to action, I use the same call to action is because we want to keep things congruent and we, we want to test the angle and we, and we want to know what worked. Like if we had five angles and five different call to actions, we don't know if it's the call to action that's making the person click or if it's the angle. We want to isolate the variables and test the most important thing first, which is the angle, right? Then we test the hooks. So that's why even with these, uh, my guys here, my, my other one-on-one -on -one clients, students, um, I'm, I've, cr I create, you know, I'm creating the angles for the, so the call to action, Then we go into the main body, problem, solution. And then I create hook one, hook two, hook three. These hooks can all be used against the same main body of whichever angle and the same call to action. So you, you just want to like, you're chunking out the different sections of the ad and you're piecing it together. So that's why I... You, you want to se separate the ad into a template that has intro, okay, which is the first hook. So you always start with just one hook, right? You don't have to create three at the start. I, I just do three just to give me some uh, variation. So it'd be one hook, 
Then the main body is split, split up into the problem and then the solution. As you can see, I haven't written the problem yet because I haven't got to that stage. And this is the format I use with my other students, like Billy is another one of my students here, uh, my, my one -on -one, uh, of my one-on-one -on -one, um, stu uh, students slash clients who I'm, ads I'm creating for him, right? It's the same process I'm going through um, to create his ads as well, okay? Now, fortunately for you guys, in Superclass Part 2C, I'll be sharing this template with you, okay, as well as how to find angles, how to come up with ideas, like, I mean, if you look at Brett's document here, you know, I mean, we've got so many ideas here in terms of hooks, in terms of angles, like here, look, gain. And remember the three emotions that we segment these angles into, gain or fear, uh, gain or pain or shocking. In the gain, we have like, what is that, 15 angles that we can test already pain we've got we need to add some more shocking we've got like a number of as you can see the car insurance companies have been lying to you for decades that was the that was in the ad that we created we still have so many to test right uh i'll give you another one more one more quick one um One of my, let's see here. This is an older document. Oh no, I can't find it. Never mind. It's not here. Um, anyway, all we've created are two ads here. Um, I mean, so all I showed you was two ads. And in his document, we've, we've got so many uh, more ideas we can come up with. Okay. So anyway, that's that. Um, whoever jo just joined, we've been on for about an hour, so I'm not sure if the time zone has been uh, mistaken again. But we've been doing, um, we've been on for like the last hour. I think we started at it was 8 a.m. Eastern when we started. So let's go. What I'll do is I'll answer a couple more questions um, again. Superclass part two is available. Let me just part A. Yeah, superclass part. Superclass part two A is available. Okay, which is here. Okay. Classroom. Rapid profit TikTok ads. Superclass. Part two intro, and then part two A. In here, I go through the three keys to TikTok ads profits. You know, one of the keys is the ad creative formula, which gets you a high click through rate and high conversion rate, where you can turn one dollar into three dollars or one dollar into five dollars over and over again. You have to understand this, okay? And I also shared the template, the framework, as well as 11 different types of TikTok ads that you can model once you've came up, come up with your angle, your script, the template. Um, and I give you examples of all of the 11 ads that are my own, um, which are really good, which is going to help. This is the module that's going to be almost, it's, it's going to be the game changer for most of you guys here because how to create a high converting ad is the big key to massive success on TikTok ads. However, what you're going to learn in that video, in that module, is going to help you creating ads on any platform. Okay. Even if you do like Billy, he does email marketing. This help, this can help with email marketing because at the end of the day, we're writing a message to another human being no matter what the medium is, right? Email is just text. Um, TikTok, it's, it's TikTok, so we have to make it TikTok style. But the fundamentals are the same, okay? That's why I always focus on fundamentals first. Some people don't 
like fundamentals and these people, you know, unless you're going to pay for the results, if you're trying to do it yourself, you need to understand fundamentals. All right. All right, guys. So what we'll do, we'll probably, I'll give you another minute to see if any questions come in. This is a new MacBook Pro. It's about well, two months old now. I need to probably get a faster one. Uh, this is... Let's see here. Okay, cool. So thanks very much, guys. It's been great. Um, started off with only one and then two of you, and then now there was seven. <laughs> so it's been a good Q&A. So let's uh, go ahead and end it. Um, I'm currently up, I'm currently working on Superclass 2, Part 2, B and C, finishing it off, uploading it. They're, they're all long videos. Uh, you know, Part 2A, the one that I just, that's already, that just got uploaded yesterday. Like, to render that video, I had, and here's the issue, I, I had, to, I recorded that on my, with the web, like the camera on my MacBook, when I should have used my actual, you know, I do have like a proper camera, like, um, but I didn't bring it with me that day um, to where I was, where I was shooting that video. And um, the audio wasn't perfect. So I had to like boost the audio and then re-render that video, which took like a long time. And then to upload that video, uh, I was I uploaded it when I, I was at a coffee shop yesterday morning and I uploaded that video and it's it was like three hours went by and it was only like twelve percent uploaded. So I was like so then I just came back home and done it here and it uploaded like within thirty minutes. So the upload speed obviously matters and that's why when I was trying to upload uh that a while ago. Uh, when I was in Spain, it was hard to upload because of the Wi-Fi. Um, then I just basically uh, recreated it and, and done it. Okay, so anyway, I guess that's that. If you have any questions, post in Aflabs. Uh, if you guys could do me a favor uh, and maybe just post in Aflabs saying how, if you enjoyed this Q&A session, it would just help the engagement for people, anyone who missed the Q&A. Uh, or maybe when I post this, you can comment saying that you enjoyed it. You know, just to see, when, you know, when people see other people enjoying or liking stuff, it, it gets them motivated to want to consume the content. You know, there are some people who have joined this program that they don't even watch the content. You know, there are some people that buy stuff and just don't go through it. So I want to encourage more people to go through the content, right? So... All right, thank you guys. Appreciate you being here. Uh, I'm gonna end this now and I'll upload and we'll talk soon, all right? Thank you very much. Cheers, see you guys soon.